um, Winchester was a hard day. Yeah. 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 A lot of sand. Lifting up yeah. Very, very that's very yeah. A lot of climbing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sting and nettles down this way. You've got to watch your head. That's pretty cool. <laughs> How many times do I ask Jay we're on the right route? <laughs> Every five seconds. <laughs> anyway, on the right route. <laughs> so we'd be happy with this. Watch the face of delight. Face of delight, watch. Look. That was the hardest. Hardest, and I've got some few stings, nothing, yeah, nothing got dramatic. Oh, spicy. Are we on the right route? Yeah, we are now. Well, we were before. <laughs> I think I've come through that field. <laughs> I reckon we could have done, you know, but we'll find out, can't we? That was nice fun, though. I liked it. It was a bit of an adventure. This is, uh, should be noted, this is the King Alfred Way alternative way around Stonehenge. I think the official official route takes you a bit further over to the right and you can't quite see the stones, or at least not this view. Um, so we're following, it's in the official guide path to take the alternative way if you want to, but it means we've got to cross that road with all those cars in. Um, and there's these really annoying gates, kissing gates that my bike just is too long. I've got a touring bike uh, and it's exceptionally long. And it just doesn't fit through here. It's a real pain. I was hoping there wouldn't be another one. How much do we like these, Zoe? These are tough, tough, tough. <laughs> Lovely views though of uh, Stonehenge along here. So that's your Salisbury Plain that everyone says don't ride on. And we are just, we're just uh, rolling along a nice, a very, very quiet road. Now there's uh, one thing sure to make you cycle really quickly and that's a sign that says um, military firing range. Keep out when red flags are flying or red lamps are lit. We can't see anything red. <laughs> we can't see any flags at all. So uh, we're taking that as a good sign. Um, but I must say it makes you, it does make you speed along. <laughs> At the end of uh, day one of our um, trip on the um, King Alfred's Way, uh, with all our camping gear, ended, <laughs> ended up with us on a campsite. And the lady there was really lovely, and she said to us, "Do you want to um, do you want to stay in a in a hobbit a hobbit hole?" And we thought, "Yes, we do." So this is where we are in a hobbit hole with all our camping gear. <laughs> and the only only complaints from Jody is that he didn't sleep very well. And uh, I slept really well. Apparently there was snoring in the camp, but I, I, I didn't hear it. I think I think Jodie's making it up. Anyway, so it, the sun is shining and um, we're off to the Ridgeway. Um, so it's day two and yeah, we've got about 50 miles ahead if we make it that far. So we're... <laughs> 50. Oh, right, 50. Oh, okay, that's not better. Yeah, so we'll see how we go, but we've, we're not in a rush, which is good. And um, you never know with all this camping gear, <laughs> we, we, we might find a better breakfast. 
Anyway, um, so I haven't said where we are. We're in Tillshead. In Tillshead. So it's a lovely campsite. Um, and you can camp here as well as staying in hobbit holes. Very lucky. Get up on this day. 10 a.m. Shorts and t-shirt. The sun's shining and it's really quite warm actually. It's gorgeous. Right, we're at Barbary Castle um, Country Park and uh, we've been scoffing at the hills this morning because they were nothing like yesterday. So we thought we were over the worst of it. Um... <laughs> Look at this. and um, our, our reliable sat-nav tells us to go down this particular path. Um, there's going to be no deviation. What's the worst thing <laughs> <laughs> Now playing the game of how long till Zoe turns around and looks because we missed a turn back there. I stopped just to double check the GPS and Zoe's ridden on and she, <laughs> she's kept going. I started, I was shouting and I was ringing the bell, but she was already quite a distance ahead. So um, hopefully she'll turn around and spot because it, it looks like it might go downhill over there anyway. Did you enjoy your excursion? A little excursion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so realizing if we're in the uh, in the ointment of having a really whippity bike, is that I can just take off. I can't hear anything. <laughs> I look round and you just vanished. Anyway, and then when I started to come back, and you then beat a retreat <laughs> the opposite <laughs> direction. I was thinking you can wait for me. But... Uh, I thought I'd let you know that I wasn't injured. Otherwise, you oh, might right. have been thinking, oh, he's got some issue and start worrying. And I thought, at least if you see him turning round. Yeah. I thought it was only going to be about 100 or well, less than 100 <laughs> metres, but it was a little bit more than that. Anyway, yeah, I've probably done an yeah. extra, yeah, extra kilometre. That's fine. Turns out we were, we were distracted because loads of motorbikes went past us right at the point where they're turning and my GPS would have been bleeping, but we didn't hear any of it and we weren't watching. So, um, <laughs> so there we, go. we just went right past it, but that's all right. It, was an, it wasn't too bad a trail. Now we've got this quite long grass actually. Cool. Nice. Interesting. Right, onwards. Yeah. Quite treacherous this, you can't see in the long grass, but there's loads of ruts. <laughs> Get your wheels in the wrong place and so you're sliding up in a different angle. section looks particularly easy but uh, it really isn't the little ruts are so narrow that the moment you clip your tire on the side it just flicks you off the bike really quickly so uh, it's quite deep ruts but yeah very narrow <laughs> yeah yeah that's it exactly yeah it's quite difficult isn't it it's like 101 on the ruts yeah Wow! So focused because it's then so and then narrow. You kind of get too stressed about it. It's like, oh, am I going to stay on it? Am I yeah. going to stay on it? And then you can see a rut that's really deep, and you think, oh, ah, yeah. I'm in it. Yeah. And then, and then it's too deep. It really is. You can't get going. Yeah, it, it's it's a real task to concentrate. It is. It's because it's. It looks like the ruts have been made by bike tires, so it's the width of a bike tire. And the moment you clip the side, yeah. you yeah. bounce from side to side like a ping ball machine, and suddenly you're. Uh, you're off so and also when the, when it gets almost you can see the level that you're on so it's narrowing <laughs> <That's>, <yeah. laughs> which one shall i go to yeah because you can't wow. change at some point can you there's a wow. lot of, this is a it's too deep challenge. yeah yeah full focus right and there's miles of it <laughs> don't know if you can see that but we're down here at that red dot longstone cove adam and eve are those two stones and they would have led all that way, all the way up to Avery village. 
which had those big standing stones in it, that would have been a massive avenue. Look at that, that's impressive. So somewhere over there is Avebury Henge and Stone Circle, so yeah, two and a half thousand BC. Right, let's see what we can find. So we've got to Avebury and um, it has actually closed, the shop's closed but there's a pedestrian access on the side and we can have a little wander around, which we're about to do. That looks pretty steep. It's really rutted. It's really difficult to keep your wheels going in a straight line. I tell one of the pleasures of this route and I guess it's from any any form of cycling is when you have a bike that you've done your research you've found out there's a gravel bike, a road bike or a touring bike or whatever and then you go and use it for what it's designed for and you find that the limit of it is your own ability and the bike is just doing what it's meant to and it's a really satisfying part of uh, riding a bike. Ridgeway. Wow, that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I've never, uh, yeah, this, you get to a stage in life and you say, you've done a lot of things. I've never done that. That was brilliant. <laughs> How can I get volunteered to go inside? Uh, well, it might be dangerous. There's a YouTube uh, clickbait there, look. <laughs> this is, it looks on paper the easiest route we've taken, but for uh, some reason we just have loads of offs along this section. Optimistic, but I haven't pushed yet up a hill. I'm going to try and make sure I get right round that pushing up any. <laughs> yeah. yeah, luckily it's at the top of the hill, not the bottom. <laughs> get some speed up. Keep the speed up because you need it up that way. Go for yeah, it. That was awesome. Yeah. But I'm, I was scary just on the cast. I wish we just carried on. Look. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, I will have to push up here at some point, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh god, when I said I'm not going to push. <laughs> oh, there's no water. Yeah. How are you enjoying the King Alfred's way? <laughs> <sighs> Very far, Jody. Far. <laughs> Any other reason? Zoe. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Any other reason? Oh, your brakes. Oh. Your saddle. And your brakes, your saddle, your brakes, your saddle, your saddle, your brakes. Interesting things. Oh, the strawberries. Come on. on the route and a very uh, cheerful group of cyclists um, advised us to take this deviation to come to Ma Maple Durham where the eagle has landed apparently was filmed or part of it. It's the driest bit of path we've had. Most of your bike off about from the brake box there. Eh? I think so, the front's a bit better. Yeah, your brakes are a bit clogged up, but your um uh, yeah. Anyway, should I go and find out if I just yeah. give us a look today? I'm hoping on. there's a nice bike stay. We're going to walk through this. They've probably got a lovely floor. Yeah. <laughs> well you're about to leave a lasting impression on the joint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I just say my mum has a word that's called pathering and it means walking across a wet floor with muddy feet. No one else knows this word. It's, it's a good word, not to have a pad. <laughs> pathering. Everybody they don't know about pathering. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know about pathering because I'm always getting <laughs> guilty of it. You only hear, the only way you hear about pathering is somebody says, it's in the negative, don't pather. <laughs> don't pather. Yeah. Sky, no sign of the rain that we had yesterday. And luckily, with us being in the sandy area, there's no puddles left anywhere. It's really nice. The birds are tweeting, it's nice and early. It's fresh, but it's uh, you can tell it's gonna be a lovely day. Oh, and that place we stayed at, really nice, so, fully refreshed, full of 
water. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to come spot tonight. It's somewhere near Winchester, hopefully, but we'll see where we get to. I think we've finally hit the sandy bit that everyone talks about. <laughs> Gone about that far, <laughs> ground to a halt. Uh... So we're lowering the pressure of the tyres to uh, cope with the sand. That's what we're faced with. I do have a, a track pump with a pressure gauge on it, so hopefully. If it isn't working, we can pump back up again. But uh, oh, first time we've experimented with yeah. this, um, and I just made to ride quite a bit with these heavy packs on, so it makes a big difference already. Yeah, definitely couldn't do that yesterday. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm seriously impressed with how much I've ridden down there. But... As I turn the camera on, I stop. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> we didn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, look at that. I started there. <laughs> oh, good effort, but. Woo. Yeah. When it's really loose, you're stuffed. Okay, softer tyres help. Definitely help. Well, this is hard. Ah, oh, look at that. That's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> Let's get this pressure off it. I think we can salvage it. Hello, hi there. Very interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, so this is Mike. He's <laughs> stopped out. What's your name? Mandy, oh, good Samaritans. Right, yeah, here we go. We've had numerous offers of help from various people cycling along, which has been nice, nice interactions, but uh, as much as everyone says, oh, it's really simple, all you have to do. <laughs> And then it doesn't work and then I go oh well I don't know maybe I'll just leave it with you <laughs> so we're basically we've come to the conclusion that something's happened with the tire itself and um, yeah something's happened with the tire itself and no matter what we do with the seating of the beading right, um, it's not it's never going to work so uh, it just instantly pops off and gets pressure up and we're talking about 20 psi nothing really on these tires so uh loaded everything on mine and carrying it out yeah. oh yeah so it's always limping her way out with very little pressure on the back wheel oh no it's coming off already it's coming off on the back wheel got a few k to go Yours. Yes, yes, exactly. Scrape the shoulder workout. I'll try the other shoulder in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Morning. We're trying again to depart from Frencham. Yesterday we got an issue with the tyre and we ended up getting it sorted. So we're very happy for that, but it meant today's um, an extra day in Frencham which has not been too bad. If you look to see where we are in the uh, French Hotel, <laughs> which is actually very nice. But today is Friday the 13th. We're hoping because we had our disasters yesterday that we might get a, a, a clean, clean sweep at uh, getting up a hill and getting some distance away from French. But if it doesn't happen, I'm happy to come back here, <laughs> to be fair. Um, the plan is that we finish this trip hopefully tomorrow but worst case scenario it'll be Sunday um, and we're camping tonight so we're all ready for it with food etc so um, good news is the sun's going to shine that's the forecast so happy days so what did you do yesterday for my bike in three words 
Yeah. Hug it out. So I've got new brakes. I've got lovely shiny new brakes. New brake box on there. And on the front. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. New I'm just recording this in case it goes wrong. And everyone has evidence of who did the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know where your phone is though. <laughs> Approaching the scene now where the tyre came off yesterday and uh, almost now into new territory but we've got like 10 minutes down the road from what we say. Oh wow, it all looks familiar. Woo I don't know if that's how we explain but basically yesterday the, even the bike shop couldn't get the uh, tyre to fit in the end. There was something weird about it, they didn't know what the problem was, but for some reason it was stretched or the bead was just way too big for the, the route. <laughs> Taking the risk out of it. No wet feet today. Hopefully not. What in? You're going to find. Okay, what in? Okay, morning. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah, 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 Look at the pipeline. Yeah. There's nothing like people watching, is no, there? Like... <laughs> yeah. now, this is the uh, gravelly path that everyone talks about. So, going up to Beacon Hill. Oh, me first. <laughs> yeah, you're not as impressed as I am. Mm. Yeah, yes. really do. Yeah. That would take yeah. you up there. Yeah, yeah. And, we and thought it about just that. takes the the killing out of yeah. it, you know. So yeah. I would. I mean, I'm trying to persuade my brother to get a battery yeah. for his bike, but yeah. he seems to think that. Well, you're not against a battery. Well, well, yeah, we tried electric a few years ago, and we thought. Um, definitely awesome. the future for us yeah. but when you get old it keeps you moving <laughs> yeah exactly yeah i mean the knees already feel it so you know it's not so much longer oh, yeah. before we start thinking yeah. you well, know I but can't walk just great anymore but this yeah. i mean we've done what 15 miles today 16 miles yeah. today yeah. Wow. and that's just a quick yeah. ride out yeah. Yeah. delicious it's a nice sugary buttery flapjack worth a pound mm. 
Mm. There's some more customers mm -hmm. on the way, look. Mm. Yeah. That's very That's enterprising. Fine. Very good. Another one of those long afternoons. We just cycled out to a campsite at East Meon. Um, we've just arrived in this. Well, luckily there is a field with a campsite, but there's nothing here, no phone numbers, there's nothing. We don't really know if there's a genuine campsite or whether we're supposed to book or not, but there's nothing, nothing here. But there is some portaloos, which is super handy. And some hand cleaning station. So uh, I think we just pitch and if somebody comes along, we we'll pay them. Uh, don't know, what else can we do? Sort of wild camping, but <laughs> on a campsite. What's cooking, Mac? Oh, it's very special. It is rice and fish, and chili sauce, and you're gonna love it. It looks great. out there? What are you doing? That's the question. What else is up? Oh no, what do you mean everybody else? What a campsite. Hillfort, the early settlement, 3,800 years ago. Dispute, dispute on on the official route. Mine says, my GPS says this way, so it says that, but they both meet up. Instead of, instead of going the same way, we're gonna see who's quicker and meet on the other side. We hope we meet on the other side. Okay, see you there. Okay. I think we're taking an adventurous course. <laughs> Let's go over the top. I don't see the adventurous route. <sighs> Loser! 45 degrees! It's got to be quicker! <laughs> There's one over there! Never gonna make it! And there's some people pushing the bikes up the hill. <laughs> that is super, super steep. I don't know if you can see the angle on there. This is, uh, you wouldn't want to push a bike up here. That's probably why the other path exists going uphill. But this is much faster than that. I think, Jodie, you won that contest. You had to cross and then cry across a field at a 45 degree angle. Whereas, look, I've had to come down this. It doesn't look that much. A bit more there. And then, I'm, and then I've got to go across. So, it'll probably be there by now. Bugger. Oh, blooming nemesis again, isn't it? Can't get through these. And there's nettles in here with me. Oh, if I can just get to that path, I'm good. I don't think I'm going to get there. Say, if you're with somebody, split up and both do it because it's quite funny. Yeah. Morning. 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 <laughs> so, as you cycle around this area, you realise how much of a military uh, connection it has, and uh, almost all the way around there's military training grounds. And you come across this. King Arthur's way and the Southbound's way seem to be uh, full of potholes. <laughs> no, it's a rough ride and um, my front tyre has just got a flat. So we've had brake issues, but now um, some of the ridges are really hard 
and it took massive impact on the front wheel. So, yeah, it's gone. It's gone, 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 gone. Nice. Which means that we get to practice more roadside repairs, which Jodie is delighted about. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Hello. That's good. I love the descents. You can see Winchester over there. In the distance there. But yeah, some uh, little killer hills right at the end <laughs> to kill you off. Oh, feeling it. Absolutely feeling it. And through the last gate. Yeah, the Winchester. <laughs> we made it. We didn't make it because we still got to go to Salisbury. Yeah, we should be celebrating the end, but um, yeah, we didn't start here, so <laughs> I'm still celebrating. Yeah. It's really nice here. Yeah, it's lovely. I like. Winchester. Yeah, didn't know it really, but yeah. okay. So injuries so far. Chap lips. Bikes had a few incidences. Yeah. Knees. Legs are a bit of a mess. Knees. Like blood, blood. Yeah, lots of uh, scrapes. Using uh, flat pedals with studs, and they're, they're just uh, hacking away at our, our ankles. But still in good spirits. Yeah, it's good. It's great. I've been enjoying it. It's great. Still talking. Yeah, recommend it. Not to each other. We're talking to lots of other people. So yeah, lots get me of out other. Of here. <laughs> And now debating if we can yeah. make it to uh, Wilton, but we should be able to. Yeah. It's only about three o'clock. You should point out over your shoulder. Oh yeah, look who it is. The culprit. So keep going, keep going, keep going. There it is. There it is. He's to blame. It's his fault. <laughs> Tough going. Anyway, we 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 we're almost there. <laughs> My uh, Garmin Touring Edge shortcuts of delight. Just gone through a really thick area of brambles. <laughs> Never rely on my Garmin for, for setting a route. If it picks a route, <laughs> it has no idea what it's putting on there. I don't. Just, we've always had, well, to be polite, an adventure when we followed the Garmin. We're both up for adventures. Right, this might take two of us, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're off the ground still, just nice one. Oh, nicely done, look at that. Crikey. Follow that, Jody. <laughs> I don't know, possibly. No. Hey, straight on his side. <laughs> Look at that. That's heavy, heavy. We've been saved by this big tree here. This big oak tree. Can't wait to be abroad. <laughs> <laughs> 